Now, even before getting into the details of the article, we still must ask the question, what does Forbes magazine and, and those who are behind that particular most recent article, which we suggest every one of us get a chance to sit down and just take a read and, and also to voice our opinion, but let's just take the title of it for a moment. What do they mean by asking the question of whether Bob Marley's children, to say his ears, are hurting his legacy? What a strange question, because that means that they have their own ideas of what Burhana Salase or Bob Marley's legacy should be. You understand? And, and, and when we say they, we're speaking about the, the system or Babylon. We have to really put things into context because, context, because what they're trying to do is to change the contextuality to change the contextuality of the whole question and the whole argument. In other words, it's, it's, it's another, another example of blaming the victim. You, you understand? And Babylon is very, is very proficient at doing this. This is what has helped to um, partially avert, you understand, judgment on the system of things because they have learned to... Um, I, I, like in court, when they say um, redirect, you understand? They have learned to redirect the whole argumentus, the whole argument and the argumentum. They've learned to redirect the whole argument. And they're now blaming the victim. You understand? Speaking of the Bob Marley ears, you understand? And the Bob Marley ears are firstly and foremostly the family. Uh, is, is his wife Rita, is, is the children Ziggy, and, and the other children, uh, Damien, uh, Stephen, um, 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 Kimani, and, 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 and the daughters as well, and even the grandchildren, they are all the heirs. They are all the heirs. So, so what is really meant by Forbes? Now, remember, Forbes is a money magazine. We must understand Forbes is not just some tabloid out there. So when a, a magazine like Forbes puts as its headliner, you understand, and this was reported to us by our sources and, 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 and our, our informants, that this was headline news today, the 12th, the 5th day, 2011, or December 5th, the 5th of December, for, your, for those of you all in England, you will say it the opposite way, the 5th of December, 2011. What is meant by this? And this is like a shot, what they call, this is like a shot across the proverbial bow. You understand? What's being done right now is like a shot across the proverbial bow. You understand? Even in the fact that it's testing the waters. They want to see, well, not just what is the response of the family, but really what is the response of the community? Are, are we as a community going to respond to this? You know what I'm saying? Are we going to allow this, like so many other injustices and, and, and robberies and, and thefts, you know what I'm saying, to kind of go over our head? Are we going to believe, be like Eve, you know what I'm saying, the Babylonian media? We're going to give them more trust and faith and say, yes, they must be correct in saying that, well, the ears of Bob Marley are destroying his legacy. Why? Why do they say this? What is Babylon and what is Forbes and others' idea of what Bob Marley's legacy should be? You see, they think that Bob Marley's legacy should be commercialization. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the system of things. This is why they have robbed uh, Rita and the family of their rights through a manipulation of the law. And we put forward that video a little while ago and a couple other videos talking about how they have rob the family and how they have used and manipulated laws. But we warned you at that time. We warned the brothers and sisters even from that time. We said, listen, there's a whole bigger issue here. There's a real bigger issue here. And we've been noticing our videos and other videos, and others have also testified that this is true, that when they try to post some Bob Marley music in their video or utilize it in a commentary or some other public free speech thing that they think they have the right to, you know, utilize a bit of music. They're not making no money off of this. They're posting it out there as a public service announcement. 
But when they do this, they find that their videos are blocked as well. You understand? And then behind it, we get to see the German, the German connection. And if you've been watching international news, not just the local news, you'll know that this whole Nazism and, and your, oh, well, Nazism is on the rise in Europe. They, they found out that there are killer gangs out there. You understand? Terroristic, racist gangs out there that are killing black people. We know personally within our family and some of the extended legal people who are, you know, some of the other relatives who are in various um, legal activities, you understand, and have to help Ethiopians flee, flee from Germany, you understand, because of racial and racist attacks. Some of them almost losing their very lives out there. And these stories have all been in the news, but not your local so-called idiot news the international news. And then when we put all this together, both what's going on on the local level, the so-called regional level, as well as the international level, we can begin to see the big picture. You know, when they lie to us and say that we're in a so-called post-racial society. We said we wasn't going to say this, but perhaps it's good that we put this right here about McCain. We told you so. <laughs> we wanted to do it in, in a total of a video. Maybe we still will. But about McCain, about Herman McCain, we told you so. You know what I'm saying? We told you so. That the Willie Lynch election, 20, 2012 election, the Willie Lynch election, what they did to him, he even said it himself in some of his response videos initially, and then they really just, they, they just really clocked him even more when they um, put out the video about high-tech lynching. You understand that, 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 that he announced that there was a high-tech lynching campaign against him, but yet he's the type of Negro or black person that still want to believe a lot of the lies and not really be more outspoken about the real truth. He want to also blame the victim. You remember with the Wall Street protests, he's saying that these people are against capitalism, and capitalism... You understand, was the reason for the slave trade and the persecution and degradation and exploitation and the virtual holocaust, the holocaust that my people, the black people in the Americas and the Caribbean went through for 400 plus years. Yet, a lot of our so-called um, brightest and richest Negro folk out here, you understand, they can't really move themselves to really speak out on the issue because it's like they have compromised themselves or in some worst case scenarios, they might have sold their souls. You understand? To so-called make it. You have to remember that the Negro believed, you know, the Negro, especially black people coming from the American slave uh, experience from south to north, they believed, you know what they believed? They believed that they could buy their freedom. You understand? Or they could look the part and therefore, you know, assimilate, you know, like on the sly into, they, they thought it was just about maybe um, if you acted white or if you projected a certain, a certain image that somehow white folks or the racist, the terrorists, the Tea Party, question mark, that they would change their agenda, you understand, and they would accept us. As, as, as full-fledged and so-called equal in the eyes of God and man. But unfortunately, that's, that wasn't the case. And even more sadly, a lot of Negroes and black folks didn't really get to realize it. Herman Cain is just the latest example, you understand, the latest example where a black man, even in that, in that wing of politics, even on that side, some of y'all may say, oh, why is he a Republican? But, but even there, where they try to say, well, well, they are equal and inclusive, we get to see what happened, you understand? Know even though he might have had a good chance, along with, you know, some of the other white folks on that side, you know what I mean? A good chance of perhaps some um, uh, not defeating, if not defeating Obama, at least giving Obama a so-called proverbial run for his money. But Herman Cain was right about that. We're going to do a video when, when some of these things first started a couple of weeks ago to say um, when, when they first brought the first couple of accusations out there that, well, maybe now he knows what it's like to be a nigger. You understand? But we, we didn't get around to that. We didn't put that out there. But 
perhaps now we can say that. But this basic video right here and this basic update, this vlog right here, is more about getting back to Bob Marley. We segued with that because what we have is a global situation. You understand know, where, where where racism um, and exploitation has just uh, changed this game and taken on a new form and a new guise or a new disguise. But back to Forbes magazine to conclude this update. What do they mean? Asking the question: Is Bob Marley's uh, family, you know, or his ears destroying his legacy? And they're trying to point out greed, greed, greed. It's greed. Greed of who? You understand? Know it's easy to blame the victim. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and a lot of folks don't even recognize it's easy to, it's like the Michael Jackson case and the Dr. Conroy Murray. We wanted to talk about that as well. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't get around to that particular issue. But that's also another issue that we've been somewhat following in the news over the, the, the months and leading the last couple of weeks and everything. And that's another example. That's just another example of the continual crucifixion of the black man, you know, and by extension, black people. But we're going to get into that a little bit more, but the article is Forbes magazine, a Forbes magazine article. It was the headliner of December 5th, 2011, today's headline, or one of their headliners, where it says that it asks the question that Bob Marley's ears or family is destroying his legacy as though Babylon has an interest in that music and controlling and colonizing our music. Do you know who owns the rights to reggae music now, at least Bob Marley's music? It is Germany. It is the EU. The European Union is the one who really owns the right to it. Go do your check and search it out. It's Germany. Germany now is in a position where Germany is going to have to bail out all those lazy European countries. And yes, we said it. We said it. The Europeans are lazy. You know, st stand up. Get, get up to the measure of your fathers. You know you want to enslave the world and come out with that bold-faced racism, but they did not do it. And when you see Europe, you understand, and you say, what, what's wrong with the European economy? Everybody talk about black man is lazy, black man don't work, black man don't do it. We're the ones who built this economy. It was built on our backs. You know what I'm saying? When you should have given the 40 acres and the mule, they didn't do so. When they should have given um, 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 reparations, they didn't do so. When they should have supported um, repatriation, they didn't do so. Now we're in this present time, in this present situation. So the Bob Marley ears, you know, I and I prayers are, are with you. We may not have agreed with everything Rita has done or, or Ziggy or, or any of the other uh, ears of Bob Marley have done. But we understand this particular case that's going on right now, you understand, and this media campaign, we understand what's behind it so let's let us watch and pray brothers and sisters and please let us try to give our brothers and sisters support that they need they might have made errors and fallen short on some things maybe bob didn't have a will so forth and so on maybe this sign this agreement this contract and the lawyers and the judges have reinterpreted it but remember what sort of a shit stem a world shit stem that we are in you understand? They say you're damned if you do, you're damned if you if you don't. Well, we're living in a, in a system that is damned. A word to the wise should be sufficient. So watch and pray, my brothers and sisters. And once again, Shalom Ras Tefari. This is Wendem Yadon. To everyone else, Ras Yadinos Tefari. Shalom.